Alicia, good morning to you. Welcome to this morning. I'm Chayla Mendes. So you know we have to wake you up with the good vibes. And right now we have a good friend of ours, Soka Artist. And of course, writer, producer, wears many hats. We have wildfire in the place. How are you? I'm good, Chayla. Thank you for having me. You know what? I'm very grateful to be able to have you here again today. Uh, I feel like last time when we met up, which was about a year ago, and on, and on the beach. It was on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> but I just feel like there's always these zen out vibes, these chilled, mm -hmm. you know, good vibrations. So this is like our spot for interviews. But we had a different beach this time. Yeah, so yeah. new year, new beach. Yeah. But fire, I know there's so much that's been happening. New music, new collaborations. Mm -hmm. So there's so much catching up for us to do. I mean, where do we even begin right now? Uh, like you said, there's so much going on. Um, I just happened to release a song called Second Wave. Uh, produced by Rebel Music, written by uh, Amtone, he's an artist in New York, um, and myself. And, um, you know, we're just focusing on, on Trinidad Carnival for now. Uh, I've just been doing a lot of other, you know, behind the scenes things, background vocals, production, writing. That's what I tell you, you wear many hats, you know. Yes. People, a lot of people don't know uh, what you do because they know your music, we've seen you launch here in St. Lucia, we've grown to love you through seeing you through Sedale and now you stand your own. But a lot of people are not aware of what the, a lot of the work that you're doing behind the scenes and not just for yourself, but you've influenced and worked and written for so many other artists. So let's talk about you know some of these hidden works because we need to bring that to light this year. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I've, I've worked with, I've been blessed to work with uh, you know artists like Marsha Montano, Famanapi, Lyrical, um, uh, Tian Winter, Ricardo Drew, uh, Patrice Roberts, uh, Sizwe, um, some heavy names yeah, some, some people. And, and um, you know, just from the experience, I've been able to just more be able, to, I, I, I just got more experience in, in, in music and being able to help people kind of shape their own projects, you know. So people come to me to record music. Um, I like to take pride in being a vocal producer um, and I just wear many hats in terms of the, the back end of things. Um, the artist thing, I've always wanted to, you know, to sing and be an artist. I've been doing it for a while too, but I'm always coming back to the back end things and um, it's, it's, it's okay. Like I, I just kind of assume my role and that's what I do. I, I, I just do, you know, take the back end and let people and push people to the best of their abilities. You have started doing some collaborations, I mean, locally, regionally, internationally. So let's talk about one that's very spicy. I feel like it's gonna be a different sound for all of us in the Caribbean. Uh, you have a new hit collaboration, it's Paranda. Mm -hmm. So tell us about that one. Uh, all right, so Paranda is a, I guess we could call it Indian pop. Okay. Um, I, I, I hooked up with my boy Rubal, he's a, um, He's a, a pop star in, well, he's based in New York. Um, he's from India. And we hooked up uh, around 2012-ish. Mm -hmm. And we did a song. Our first song together was called Worldwide Party. Um, and then we did a song called Love Struck. And then we did this song here called Paranda, mm -hmm. which was, we probably, I think we recorded it probably like three years ago. Um, but we didn't bring it out until until now. We have a video for it. Um, I surprisingly have been getting some very good feedback from people who I didn't expect to get that feedback from. But it's just a different sound. It's it, it's it's called Bangra music, and so I kind of infuse a little bit of the soca, a little bit of a you know a kind of hip hop soca kind of flavor on it. And people have been giving me some good feedback on it. Good yeah. vibes that the people know how they can follow you and, you know, spread the love like wildfire. Yeah, so follow me on Instagram at IAM Wildfire, W-I-L-D-F-I-R-E. Uh, Facebook, it's uh, P.Noel, a.k.a. Wildfire. Um, any artists, any producers want to work with me, um, you could email me at bookwildfiremusic at gmail.com. And I like to say, if you see me in the streets, just come up to me and hail me. That you know, that's what I do. Yeah, man. Like yeah. you say, you know, spread the love like wildfire. Yeah. I'll put in a plug here. Look out for merchandise coming soon. I oh, need yeah. to cop myself one oh, of yeah. these shirts. T-shirts. All right. Sweaters, um, hats, bandanas, 
uh, pens, straws, everything we're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, look out for those things, yeah. All right, well, you know what? It's just plenty good vibes here with our boy, part of the DBS family. So wildfire, spread the love. But of course, we had to give you a little treat. So here's a little sample of Paranda, and we're going to close it off with Second Wave. We don't need translate. Why not body up slow like a snake? You what the one make no mistake. So much a gal, but you I seek. So just keep it whining for me in perfect timing now. Show the minion now to walk up the base and break it down. It's a secret code Music is the savior When we out of control In this race I'm a winner Run to can hold me down I run in this show I hype up with my team And we ready for the road So much girl around me And I vibe in the zone Feel the energy Got people in party mode I ready to go Who ready to go Cause when it hits to you welcome back to this morning i am chayla mendez your host and we're here at the alliance process because you know what when i discover something new of course i have to share it so this is why right now our special guest for today i'm going to allow him to introduce himself and tell us about the movement hello i'm michael anthony uh, project development manager for return to kaya uh, trustee for return to kaya youth which is a functioning charity under the umbrella return to kaya now, Michael, what exactly is the aim of Return to Kaya? Return to Kaya in itself is a registered social enterprise, which generally is supposed to facilitate uh, the empowerment of the individual. What we really want to look into is uh, focusing on projects which sustain uh, the individual. Right? So under this, we came up with the idea that it would be proper to have a functioning charity along with our profitable business, which we have not quite started delving into actual profitable ventures as yet. However, the charity in itself is more or less in full swing. And uh, what we're looking at is uh, helping the people of Groselay for starters. So we're looking at Groselay and Barbano. And um, what the, what the, what the uh, Return, to Kaya, Return to Kaya youth movement is supposed to do really and truly, it's supposed to change the lives of the people of St. Lucia for starters. Because our focus is not just on uh, our immediate environment, but rather that of a global standpoint. Of course, we must start, every, like they say, you know, everything starts at home. Of course, it may be a little bit controversial, the, the name of the business, Return to Kaya. One may ask, what is Kaya and what is returning to Kaya? Um, African Zulu suggests that Kaya means home. Also, African Swahili suggests that Kaya is a village or homestead. So. Returning to Kaya, if you, if you put the, the name in alignment with our, our, our focus, our purpose, means that we want to get the individual to return to home, to return to that, that space of oneness where they could truly thrive. And by doing that, we have, of course, launched a number of projects for starters um, through our charity, Return to Kaya, to Kaya Youth. 
where we're helping the youth of Grosley, like I said earlier, on, and, and Babano, but we're particularizing our focus on breeding a new sense of, of, of positivity through the youth, which can then, of course, pan out through our future um, as solutions. I know you guys have been around, it's pretty new, about five months, but you have a pilot project, that's the Red Crayon Project, so we need to let St. Lucia know more about that. For starters, we've uh, begun with our pilot project called the Red Crayon Project, and of course, uh, what this project really facilitates is helping children through school particularly, because you find that you go throughout the schools of St. Lucia, most of the public schools, that is, and uh, a lot of the children, uh, if not the majority, do not have every single thing that they need to, 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 to finish their school year or their school life, basically. And that in itself breeds a lot of negative, negative factors that could more or less adhere to what you see all around you, the rising crime, the rising poverty, the rising teenage pregnancy, and the list goes on. So the Red Crayon Project, what we're really doing with this one is we're trying to facilitate getting the children to school properly. So we look at bus fare, we look at uh, stationaries, textbooks, school uniforms, school shoes, extracurricular activities at school where there may be field trips. If the children are interested in doing swimming, I can remember my years as a child where, you know, there could have been things that possibly my humble parents may not, may not have been able to provide for me. And then you'd find that a lot of children who are in these, um, how should I say, points in, 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 in their lives, as even, even as children, it's a lot of pressure for them where, you know, they can't be like the other child who sits right next to them. So our duty with the Red Crayon Project really is to make every child who is unable to feel like the other children who are able and capable. And that's where we begin through the process of changing. Because as you've noticed, you spend most of your life in school. Aside from home, your other home is your school. And if you can't be proper in school mentally, physically, emotionally, then it, 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 it really puts you at a deficit through your life pattern. And we want to change that. We want to break these chains. And by that, we're trying our best to assist the children through school. Of course, with the Red Crayon Project, it doesn't quite stop there. Um, we're looking at helping families because our mission for, for uh, Return to Kaya Youth is to help children by giving them the foundation and tools needed to, for life's journey by helping their families to heal, to grow and to shine. Michael, now before you go, I definitely need you to let St. Lucia know how they can be part of this movement. Let's go. So it has been an absolutely thrilling experience for me so far, working with Return to Kaya and doing what I do. I know that it would be for anyone else who has passion for children and for loving and helping and changing the lives of others. If you'd like to reach out to Return to Kaya in any way, you could contact us on our website. At our website, that would be returntokaya.com. You could also reach me, Michael Anthony, via email at michael.anthony at returntokaya.com. You could follow our Instagram at returntokaya.com and of course our Facebook as well. Uh, any calls would need to be made should be made directly to me. That would be at 715-7388. I'd love to speak to anyone or to give any more information regarding what we do. Uh, we could all really and truly do this together. I know that you know it, it takes teamwork to make the dream work. Good morning St. Lucia and welcome to your morning workout with Stokasai St. Lucia. My name is Shani Victorine and I will be leading the wine with Vernel Flavien and Janelle Edward. Are you ready to begin? Yes! Alright, let's do this. For this morning session we will be doing a routine by Seadale and Pretty Land I Love which is a warm up. Are we ready to begin ladies? Yes! Alright, we're going to begin to the side, our right side. We're going to step Forward and up. So, forward, up. Then we're going to go to the side. Elbow, hip, to the side. Two to the right, then two to the left. Let's go. One, two, and one, two. Two more. Side. Uh-huh. All right. Then we're going to go forward, up and down two three and forward up and down. you're taking a nice breath in the morning forward 
<sighs> Give me one more forward and up. Down to three. Then we're going to wave and bounce. Wave and bounce. Two more. Wave and bounce. Last one. Wave and bounce. All right. We ready? Yes. All right. Let's do it with some music. Let's get ready to soak a size. First, I go party all over town. Town. We go party all over town. Side and up. And. This is the chaos that I want. That I want. That I want. People taking over the streets. As far as I could see, I tell you. And it's jump from back to front. Four. Three. Two. Right side. And side. Last one. Just tell me Forward and This is the land we love. Last one. And wave. And left. Forward and Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I hope you're feeling sexy, sultry, and strong. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Sokasai St. Lucia. Have a wonderful day. So how is your Wednesday forecast looking now, everybody? I know for sure today is destined to be a great day, and you're locked on to DBS still. So that means you know you're going to have an amazing day. And because we want to keep the chills vibes, keep it positive, we're going to give you that second wave, and I'm going to exploit Wildfire because he's still here with us. So Fire, come and give the people some love. And this is how we're officially signing out this morning. Good morning, good morning, St. Lucia. Right now you're listening to DBS. It's part of your nature. It's a secret code. Music is we save ya when we out of control. In this race, I'm away now. Ah. Oh my God. You know what? We can't end it any way better than that. We'll see you guys tomorrow.